What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the Goose Sky RS4 Venom and RS4 Standard Plug and Play Kit. So we're going to go on the bench today, go over what the difference is between the Standard RS4 and the RS4 Venom and which one might suit you better and which one you would, might want to purchase. So let's go ahead Get this video started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember, Patreon and PayPal are linked in every video description if you'd like to help So support. now at first glance, both models look identical other than the canopy differences. And of course, the original RS4 has the flat canopy color and they have it in multiple different colors where the Venom series now comes in a glossy canopy, which I think looks a lot better. And they came out with a different color choice. Now. You can go with either Canopy, the regular, or the Venom. Both go onto each other. The Canopy is identical. Now, the other difference is between the two models, the head blocks are the same, the blade grips are the same, you know, the swash plate, the entire head assembly is the same. But what is different between the regular RS4 and the RS4 Venom is the blade grip arms. The original RS4 arms are about three millimeters longer than the Venom arms. So if you have an original RS4 and you would like to have faster response, a little bit overall better performance and feel to the helicopter, pick yourself up the Venom arms. They do move your grips in a little bit, give you better and keep your arm straight up and down, which I think makes the model fly better. Now I have Rototex on this one, but both of your RS4s will come with the Goose Sky 390 millimeter carbon fiber blades. Now the skids are identical between the two. So your RS4 Venom skids and your RS4 are identical. The side frames are different. So we're gonna pull the canopies off, take a look at that. And the other biggest difference is motors. So the RS4 standard has of course your direct drive motor, where on the Goose Sky RS4 Venom, it is still direct drive, but it is a bigger, more powerful motor, more torque which you can really feel. You also get the Goose Sky motor guards with the Venom kit, where on the regular Venom, you have to purchase them separately, but they will work on either or. Your battery tray sliding mechanism is the same. So if you have batteries for your regular RS4, they fit into your Venom. You can still use the standard Goose Sky 70 amp ESC. All that is identical. Now your anti-rotation brackets are identical. Your tail booms, everything is the same. Your tail casing is the same. The only difference is your parts are anodized red. So your tail boom clamps are red, your servo is red. So you get a couple little red anodized parts. Your little pulleys are red. So let's go ahead and pull the canopy off and see the main so difference. Now we have the regular RS4 here. And one thing you can tell, we have an RS4 Venom side frame. So you can already tell that the main frame is actually different. And what's different about the main frame is just your area here on the carbon fiber, same thickness, 1.6 millimeters. But the only main difference is the actual shape of the frame. And the reasoning for that is the different servo layout. So on your traditional RS4 plug and play, you have a, your servo layout with the proprietary servos. So you can't really use any other servo but what Goose Sky has included. Now on the Venom, you can. not Also too, on the RS4 plug and play, you get everything. You get your fly barless unit, a battery, motor, speed controller, if you purchase the plug and play kit, and you have a nice spot up here to mount your receiver for your choice of radio. Now we can see on the RS4 Venom, again, the frame side is different. We have a more traditional servo layout. So your upper and lower bearing blocks are different than the regular RS4 plug and play as well. And you do not have an included or a stock option for your receiver to be mounted in the front. Now, what I did was because I used the Goose Sky ESC, I just took my ESC tray that's included in the kit, drilled two new holes, used the original spacer that was here, use those holes and put my ESC mount up here for my receiver. Now, again, we have a traditional, more traditional servo layout. So this is a kit only option. So you get the helicopter kit with the motor, your motor guards, your blades, everything. You have to supply your own servos, receiver, fly barless unit, and ESC. Now the Venom is more geared towards the pilots that have everything or want to go with your own traditional setups. You have a brand of servos you like, brand of ESC, fly barless unit, and you can pick up a Venom kit, have that option to go with your traditional servos. And in my opinion, I think the Venom with the new servo layout does fly a lot better. So now we have both of our models here so we can kind of try to see a difference in the servo layout. So we have the regular plug and play on the left and the Venom on the right. You can see your 
more traditional on the Venom servo layout and again, your own options of servo. But other than that, both kits are going to sit the same. They're gonna pretty much fly the same. I do think the Venom flies better, but the Goose Sky RS4, I think is the best bang for your buck that you can buy. And your tails are going to be identical between the Venom and the Standard. The Standard is this one, the Venom is this one. So everything from the boom back is going to be identical and your servo placement is still going to be in the same exact spot as the regular RS4 and the Venom RS4, but you just get your own choice of servos. So my personal opinion between the two helicopters, I like the Venom more. I think the Venom flies better. A lot of that probably has to do with the Icon, but it definitely has a lot more power. This new motor is significantly more torque and more power throughout your range. I like the servo layout better. I think it flies better with the traditional style servo layout. And I like that you have an option on what you can get for your servos. Now on the plug and play standard RS4, I think this is still a great model. I think for the average pilot, you would never tell the difference between the two. And I'm no professional 3D pilot, but I can feel the difference, but I think the average person, like if I gave both of these to grandpa, which I'm going to do, have him fly both of them, I can guarantee you he won't be able to tell the difference. I think this RS4 plug and play is the best bang for your buck that you can buy. So I, I highly still recommend the RS4, but if you're an all out smack hardcore pilot and you want your choice of fly barless unit servos, highly recommend the Goose Sky RS4 Venom. And don't worry, they are coming out with a their own servo line to fit in the Venom. And no, you cannot use the Goose Sky GTS unit, fly barless unit, in the Venom yet. Because of the different servo layout, the Goose Sky FBL unit will not work. You can't reverse one servo, so it doesn't work. But soon there's going to be an update where you can because the GTS unit is the cheapest fly barless unit you can purchase and a pretty good one. A few differences between the Goose Sky RS4 Venom and the Goose Sky RS4 plug and That plug. answered some of your guys' questions, gave you a little bit of what the difference is between the RS4 plug and play and the RS4 Venom. I already told you my opinion. I like the Venom, but I also still like the regular RS4. So if you guys haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And remember, Patreon and PayPal are linked in every video description if you'd like to help support me. Take care and have a great day.